is on the congruence and triangles worksheet. We're going to complete each congruence statement by naming the corresponding angle or side. So notice in these two triangles, they tell you six pairs of congruent parts. That means these two triangles are congruent. So you know six things. What is segment FD congruent to? Segment FD is congruent to segment IK. That's all you do for this problem. You're lining up the corresponding parts. Number two, they give you congruent triangles. That means you know six things. Here's the six things. What's angle A congruent to? Angle A has two arcs. Angle M has two arcs. So angle A is congruent to angle M. You could look at the picture since the marks are there, or you could just look at the statement. It's probably a little bit easier, a little bit more efficient. So when you come down here to number three, they're telling you that triangle TUV is congruent to triangle GFE. There's no marks here. But the statement tells you which six things go with each other. For example, what does angle U go with? It goes with angle F. So angle U is congruent to angle F. That's how you do these problems. On this next section, we're going to write a statement that indicates the triangles in each pair are congruent. So in these two triangles, they tell you six pairs of things. Name this triangle. That's all you need to do. Triangle IJK. It's going to be congruent to this triangle. Line up the parts. I has three arcs, so I goes with S. J has one arc, so that goes with T. And K has two arcs, that goes with R. So all you need to do for this section is state that one triangle is congruent to the other and just line up the parts. So you're going backwards from this. You're writing the congruent statement. So that's how you do numbers 7 through 12. For 13 on, we're going to mark the angles and sides of each pair of triangles to indicate that they are congruent. So they're telling you these two triangles are congruent. So we know six things. What six things do we know? Well, we know angle B is congruent to angle M. So I'm going to put matching arcs on those angles. Angle D is congruent to angle L, so I'm going to put matching arcs on those angles. Now notice how I use two arcs here, because I already used one arc. These ones don't have to be the same, but these ones do. Angle C is congruent to angle K. So I use three arcs for both to indicate that they're congruent, but maybe not the same as those. Now you also need to mark the six well, the three pairs of congruent sides. We already have three pairs of congruent angles. To get to six, you need three pairs of congruent sides as well. Segment BD, I'll put one slash mark on it. Segment BD goes with segment ML. Matching marks. Segment DC goes with segment LK. Matching marks. Segment BC goes with segment MK make those matching marks. Now notice how these ones don't match, and they don't have to, but the pairs need to match. And that's all you do in all of these examples.